September 17 is something that you need to be aware because the eclipse is coming. This eclipse can help you manifest your dream. If you are having issues financially during this eclipse, I'll be performing this ritual together with the Sri Yantra to unlock all your dreams and desire, especially with attracting more money to help you unlock all your financial abundance. If you want a solution to all your financial problems, you better visit my website, eatreadlove.me, and join the thousands who's already pre-ordered. Well, 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 another energy check-in. We'll be doing a bunch of energy check-in prior to the eclipse because someone be busy, okay, guiding people to attract luck, love, of course, at the same time, abundance in their life. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. At some point, this channel will, will the name will change to Unapologetic Sal because I don't give an F what you want me to do for you because I don't do people pleasing. No, 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 no. So if you're just wanting to see your ex in this channel, no. If you think it's like, ah, no. Okay. Right now, okay, I'm teaching people how to attract abundance in their life, which means establishing a, a comfortable living for them. I feel like it's about time that I share all my secrets for manifesting money. Right? Okay. So I have more than 70,000 videos about your ex coming back. They never did. So stop watching. Oh, I'm just saying. Because... First of all, if they're with you, they should be with you. And some of those 70,000 already hit you. Do you understand me? So it's not the read. Okay? It's not the read. And I know Libra is going to be like, oh my God. Let me turn you into a wealthy person first. And then you can worry about your, you know, your ex coming back to you. Okay? <laughs> now, if you are in the same vibration as I am, meaning you're ready to embrace the new, you're ready to embrace something that can give you growth into your life, well, stay tuned. At the bottom, also in the description box below, Manifestation Masters is open, okay, now to admit, okay, admittance, open admittance there, okay, if you want to learn how to manifest abundance in your life. So it's a series of courses that I will be sharing with everyone. It's, it's a secret course, meaning I cannot air it in YouTube because I don't want Pitchfork outside of course my residence and you know how people be judgy <laughs> about the ways i would need your firstborn child in the next full moon okay i'm kidding <laughs> you're not sacrificing here <laughs> so, but yes no no i'm I'm, uh, I'm serious so go there you can now um enter and you will be enrolled to a class and i will be teaching you um later on, i will tell you all, all the different courses that i'll be sharing there so you can go down there okay now, what else? Uh, this is more about career finances as the eclipse is coming, uh, you know, in the coming days. Um, so, I'll be talking about the Sri Yantra in a while, okay? And I think that's it. Okay, so let's begin here for the Libra. Okay. Okay, okay let's see. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got a fight. Five of Swords. If this is about money and finances... Okay, and this is the Five of Swords. This could be your work environment. Okay, these are jealous people with what you do who, who wants to make you feel doubtful about yourself. These are certain individuals in your life who likes to instigate and make you feel, again, bad about yourself. If you are with someone who makes you feel bad about yourself, dial 1-800 number and I'll turn them into a toad. They don't do that to a Libra, not on my watch, no. no I'm serious. Um, if there is someone who's telling you that, no, you know, like, you, you don't deserve this, you're just this, you're that, I need you to walk away. You see that? I need you to walk away from that. Because that is not an environment that will help you in your life. And also argument with the Five of Swords, okay? So let me share you one of the secrets, you know, as a mystic. Any arguments done in your residence, which is your house, will not attract luck. Mm -hmm. The more you yell, the more you scream, the more you fight, there ain't no money coming inside that house because Goddess Lakshmi will not come into your house. You guys like to fight? Goddess Lakshmi is not going to come in. And it doesn't matter if you're telling me, Sal, I am not practicing Hinduism. I doubt that in any religion, spirituality, that they will come into your house. You understand me? It's just so happened, of course. Like I practice Hinduism and Goddess Lakshmi, she comes in at 6 o'clock, you know, once the sun set to bring that abundance into your life. And yes, 
What time did you guys start to fight? Normally, people start to fight at 6 o'clock. It is the Rahu time. Rahu, of course, a smoke and illusion, can bring this to your house. Mm -hmm. And that's why you guys have been fighting. Mars is not argument. It's Rahu. Mars is a fighter for a cause. It's Mangal. Mangal is good. I'm not saying Rahu is not. Okay, because you're going to feel like, okay, well, Sal, you're right. We've been arguing this and that because there's illusion in the relationship. I know this is about career, but I see that this is more of your residence. If the home does not have peace, it's not going to attract any kind of luck. Mm -hmm. So peace in the house, harmony in the house. As a first, one of the first steps that I'll be teaching in, in Manifestation Masters on how to bring this energy. But you're going to say, but Sal, I live with my partner and he be toxic or she be toxic, whatever. Okay. Well, Someone's got to move out. Someone has to go out. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> because in this five of swords, someone's going to get tired of that argument. Mm -hmm. Not saying that you, it's you. It's the one whose, whose name is not on the list. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. So one, so one thing that is an obstacle for your finances, Libra, is the arguments that you keep having, even in the work environment also. Because mm -hmm. it's not going to manifest coins for you. The coins get scared of it. Yeah, no? Nope. Okay. So let me teach you more the ways. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Independent. Healthy. Okay. People be asking, oh, so what? Do I need to buy your crystals so I will be... No, you don't have to. Some people do. That's why they're wealthy. And the one who don't, I teach them manual. So now you would have to commit yourself to exercising every day. Lifting weights. Nine of Pentacles. She's healthy. If you burn that energy at the gym, and I'm talking about weight, lift, weight lifting, you can get rid of your debts consistently. You don't go to the gym one day and then tomorrow is not. You don't have to buy my crystals. You don't have to buy anything. You just have to exercise. However, Equinox is more expensive than my crystals. Just saying. <laughs> so I am Planet Fitness. Okay, I'm also Planet Fitness. <laughs> I like to use Planet Fitness for the restroom. So I sign. That's that $10, I think? I don't know. And I can go anywhere in the city and use the restroom. Because downtown LA, be crazy. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> no, because I have suppliers there. Nine of Anacles right here. Mm. So it's showing independence, right? It's showing coins. You know, so how do I cultivate my life to be financially independent? Now, in order for one to be financially independent, Nine of Pentacles, me, I was born financially independent. I was born financially independent. I was selling stickers the day that I started to talk. I was selling corn with some cheese on top of it. As soon as I was, I don't know, fourth grade, third grade, you know, I was born to be independent. So you would know already if you were born to be independent. And if you are, and the obstacle is your person or the people that you work with, you get rid of them. You get rid of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because that's, they're an obstacle. You can be this, Libra, Nine of Pentacles. Healthy. Mm -hmm. um, abundant, Nine of Pentacles. That's you. But every day that you wake up in that, in that environment that you are in, I feel like it's not good. Mm -hmm. It's not good. Mm -mm. Four of Pentacles. Sa I'll be saving money. Okay, what are we saving? Oh, I like that. I heard the birds. Okay. So news is coming to you, okay? Four of Pentacles right here. Um, you've been saving money and you're asking, Sa, I keep saving, but how come it's not growing? Then chances are you're not about saving. No, it's not time yet to save. A lot of people like to think, like, well, everybody's saving. Maybe it's not yet time for you to save. It's not yet time, meaning you still have to invest in yourself. Maybe there's something that you need to expand and grow your career or your business that you need to spend on. But if you keep limiting that energy, because money's an energy, it's like you're not giving love to yourself. Let's just say you're a nine of pentacles. I mean, you want to be a nine of pentacles, right? And you're saving money for for you to grow. And you want you, and you need you, you know I'm uh I, what do you call this? I'm I learn from different people, right? And according to Warren Buffett, the best investment that you can is not company stock and all this that. And Warren Buffett says to invest in yourself. He enrolled into this workshop for public speaking, I think $700 back then. I don't know when, okay? And then he said that is worth more than anything that he, you know, that he has because he invested in himself. So far, Pentacles, you're saving, you're saving. For what, though? 
if you're saving, there has to be a purpose. Where do you want to channel that energy? So I'm saving so that way I can learn something. Okay, because Jupiter is wisdom. Jupiter is the planet of abundance. So now you're learning a specific skill. You're going to save something to learn. So if you're ignorant, you won't be able to grow. That ignorance is Rahu. Okay, wisdom is Jupiter. So now um, that you are in alignment with Jupiter, if you are, or if you, that's your goal, you will receive abundance. So for me, I always study. I always try to learn something because that's the only way that Jupiter okay, can channel that abundance okay, to me. So I can't be scrolling on my phone, but I am, yes, of course, for research. I will have, I will, I will look at it for research, but not mindlessly. No, it's going to corrupt my head. And the only thing I have is like a subconsciously polluting my brain. So now I'm just teaching you, okay, how to attract Jupiter into your life through studying. Also Mer Mercury. If you study, you learn something, you will grow. And that's how you will become abundant. Because mm -hmm. the four pentacles, I really don't know, Libra, what you're trying to say. I don't know. Okay. So I'll be saving money for the Sri Yantra. Girl. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Let's see. You have a page of ones. You're creative. So there's there's a plan. So I got some plans for my coins. What is this? Sal, I'm going to open my clinic. Oh, congratulations. You got skills. Sal, I'm a nail tech and I'm going to... I'm going to start to do, you know, this and that. I'm going to learn. I'm going to get my certificate, Sal, as a cosmetologist. Sal, I'm trying to learn tarot reading. Sal, I'm trying to learn to be an astrologer. Good. That's a page of ones. It starts. There is that spark. Some people has doesn't have that spark. They wake up and then they roll out of bed and their last name is a Hilton. I'm kidding. No, she's hardworking. Okay. No. You understand me? So for you, you're you're getting the spark. You need this, not thirst, okay? Because I know like, we, people use that word and even, even I use that word. It's not thirst. It's a flame. And it's not passion. Passion will dry. I'm telling you, uh, you can be only as passionate. I'm passionate with baking. Did it make coins? No. <laughs> it did, but not, not like, how do you call this? Not to the way or how I would have been right now. Like that. Is that what I mean? Okay. So the page of wands, you want something big. Okay. And you have the spark now. Okay. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Ace of Wands. So the Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands. So the Librans right now are em uh, embarking now on this new idea, Ace of Wands. Okay. Now, this can be... Because this is more related of creativity. Okay. Fifth house, natural fifth house, basically. So for you, Saturn rules your fifth house. It's in retrograde. So there's something... And Saturn is work. So you would really put it hard work, Libra. Okay. And if you're going to ask me, it's like, Salah, it has been some delay. I've been creative, this and that. Okay. Go get the mega wealth, the other one, the mega wealth. The one with the lapis azuli. You can thank me later with all the lucky seven, all the gemstones, because the lapis azuli can help you with your creativity in the in your fifth house. Even in your dating and romance, you can thank me later. Okay. It will help you. Okay. I wear my lapis azuli every time. My lapis azuli here. Uh, so as I was saying with the ace of wands, I don't know why I'm yelling. My mic is uh, my mic is very good, uh, but I like to yell. So the ace of wands is here and it's showing like you want to start it now. Go. Don't wait. No, no, no. Today you start uploading. Today you create that social media account. Today, you're going to start dancing in TikTok if that's something you like. Today, you're going to start singing. Today, you're going to go into that comedy bar and do a stand-up. Today, you're going to write and compose. And you're going to... I don't know if you can put it in Spotify, all those things. But today is a day, Libra. Ace of Wands. And today is a day that you will get the Sri Yantra. Because if you want me to energize it for you... Okay. Oh, hush. So, you're going to think it's like, oh, he's just... Whatever. Move out. Okay, so there are a Libra right here who's saying, like, oh, Sal, yes, please, yes, please, I will energize it for you during the time of eclipse. It is pre order. I'm already wearing, of course, in preparation. You will get this one also after the moonstone and real gold, 18 karat pia gorge. Okay, it matched with a little bit flexing right here. No, okay, there's a reason why I have that um, for manifestation. 
Okay? So, you get this one. You get the whole works. Okay? There's jasmine incense right there. The bell. The cash box. You know, all these are, of course, my trade secrets as a mystic. When I say trade secrets, it's like I learned it and I'm sharing it with you guys to manifest financial freedom. Now, if you want to be working for the coins, don't get it. Okay? But then you're saying, it's like, Sal, teach me the way. One, you're going to go to the class. It's down there. Uh -huh. Because it's open right now. And after it's probably, because I want it more interactive. I can't interact on YouTube. There's thousands, of course. So that's going to be more helpful for us as a community. And I want to I want to see people. I want to talk to people. Okay, Not just the camera. So go there. Okay? And then go get your Shri. Okay? Ace of Wands. Okay. Let's see. Six of one, success, fame, you're good looking, put it to good use. I mean, why do you think I opened YouTube? I'm good looking. Good looking. <laughs> Six of ones. You don't have to be good looking to open YouTube. You just have to have charisma. Look at me. I'm nothing special. Just prominent cheekbones, jawline of the gods. I mean, perfect teeth. You don't have to be good looking. Like, look at the perfect shape of the head, you know, six one. I mean, hello, right? Oh, six one. <laughs> Fine, six two. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So the six of wands is a success. Okay, people looking at you, like you you are there already. You have arrived, Libra. You wake up today and Vinidici, Ichi, whatever that say, I came, I saw, I conquer. I oh, there you go. I came I saw like dang. When the money comes in, the money comes in. You see that? Can we ring the bell? All okay. right. Dang. Someone just went crazy. I feel like it's a Libra who went shopping like crazy. All okay. right. You're going to ring the bell. And then, no. Money is not coming to you. Wealth and success will come to you. Three times. Wonderful. In the class, I'll be teaching people how to heal first. Okay, a lot of a lot of part of the class is removing that karmic energy. It's hard. It's hard to remove it. It's difficult. Um, you know, and it's I, I know there there's probably a few that I know who does it. But of course, I'm here at your service, so that way we can bring the Libra to their wealth and success. Six of one. This is graduation, by the way. So there's a perfect there's a skill that you're perfecting and you're graduating. Okay, I like this. So you're going to finish at, I don't know what your course is. You may be a graduate of college, bachelor, master's, PhD, MBA, MMA, whatever it is. UFC, I don't know, NBA, NFL, whatever that you want to call, you're going to be successful. Okay? Because that's a six of ones. Okay? Magician, show us the way, so. Magician, okay. Not a lot of people can claim where they're at is because of magic. I... I'm here because of magic. But people like get scared when I say magic. So what do you want to call it? Manifestation, right? Oh, it's more safe, okay? So that there's no pitchfork in front of my residence because they'd be like burning me, I'm pretty sure. But because I'm teaching people how to do magic. Magic is simple, okay? It's transmutation. It's alchemy, okay? From nothing to something, okay? Basically, as above, so below, okay? But again, it's, a, it's, it's an easy process provided that it comes from like let's just say for me what my experience is so it becomes easier i've done the work all okay? right so go attend the class go enroll now and of course get your shri because the magician is here okay you got multiple offer going to you or that you're opening up ace of cups swords ones the table shows here okay this stability the magician you will see there there's a snake wrap around him okay that's the esoteric knowledge Okay, this right here, the infinity, as above, so below also. Okay, do you see that? That's the infinity symbol. Now, the red robe, Martian, which means taking action. The posture of the magician as above and then so below, that's why it's like that. Okay, I never really, um, you know, showed how, like, you know, my deep knowledge of, of, the, of the tarot is. Of course, because everyone just wants to see their ex but you know i can show you a lot of magic okay so here stability with the right knowledge an offer comes to you you take action and then you will notice also right libra with the world card there's two um ones or staffs because the world is learning everything because you know now here 
learning. The world accomplishment learned everything. Okay, so you are that magician. I love it. You are a, uh, is that conduit. I feel like that's what it's called. And you have unlocked two of ones here. A lot of good things in your life because there are. Let's be honest. Certain things in your life that didn't work out for you. Four of Cups with the Ten of Swords. Some are a relationship. Some of you guys here with the Chariot are meant to travel and work. Oh, some people like that. Okay. So the Chariot is about, oh, okay, destination. So you may be, uh, I don't know, like, I don't know what people do as like, they destine. They destine. <laughs> no, like, what kind of work travel? Um, a flight attendant, an FA, a pilot, of course. I'm a pilot before I was a pilot. Uh, what else? Uh, student, student. Um, two years. Okay. There's nothing here that looks like a pilot. Oh. <laughs> now I fly with my broom faster than a Boeing 747, an Airbus, and it doesn't even <laughs> feel the turbulence. Okay. So here with the chart, you're going places. Okay. So you may be a person who um who teaches, who does seminars and workshop. They travel. A public uh what do you call speaker, an influencer could be. You may be invited to special events that you will be gracing them. This is an invitation. Because with the chariot right here, okay, if I share you the secrets again, you see that? That's the cosmos. That's the universe. That's astrology. Secrets of life mysteries. You will see also that the chariot doesn't really have a will. It's not supposed to go anywhere. Okay. But you see also this uh wands. It's the fourth ones. It's security, meaning you understand that the universe basically has been protecting you and has shared with you the secrets, okay, of life, okay. So only you will know what that is. What what it what means for you, okay? Okay, let's see. Now, you gotta learn how to protect. Okay, some people be asking for you seven of wands for a favor. King of Pentacles, like you got to stay focused. Seven of wands is like, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't. Discipline and focus can bring you success, of course, right? But it doesn't bring you wealth. I was disciplined and focused. I'm a general manager for a big restaurant, bigger than, uh, you know, Mac, Mac, Mac Dis, okay? Bigger than that, I was disciplined, okay? I was focused, but I didn't have the magic. Now I learned the magic, I'm disciplined, I'm focused, and I'm sharing it now in my class down there. Okay. Now, okay. I feel like, I'm just being honest here, I know this is a career read. The Libras will meet someone, okay? Two of Cups. But there's also someone who is haunting you, Okay. Nightmares, basically, of the past. I feel like this is nightmares. Mm -hmm. And those are the energies that sets you back from your success. Yes. Okay. The person who has caused the damage, Knight of Wands, the devil, that has emotionally um, drained you. Relationship. You will know what a, a good relationship is. If you are recharged. And if you're not recharged, then you already know the answer. I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to tell you how energetically... The person that you're with will really bring out, you know how they say, bring out the best in you. Okay? Now, doesn't mean like they don't. Maybe they're just, that they, they're just not clicking. They're just draining you. Okay? You don't dump them because like, yep, Sal's right. You're out. <laughs> okay? You have your judgment. And during this time, I need the Libra to commit. Okay? To commit to the success that you are worthy of. That's a judgment. You have to embrace this. And a lot of people will say, because you have a king of Pentacles right here, people say it's lonely on top. I, f I feel like it's exclusive. It's called a top 1% for a reason. Not everybody can enjoy caviar. Not everybody will be, you know, you know not at all. It's exclusive. Meaning, okay, when I say that, <laughs> once you're there and you're a judge when you're a king of Pentacles, you choose. Because there's a lot of people at the bottom who's trying to be in the top. You're meant to be one of those people to be on top. So, but when you're there, use your best judgment because up there, oh, they are temptation, darling. Mm -hmm. They are. So you be careful, okay? But I'm happy that you're also getting this, a two of cups. So this is the time when I energize for you the Sri Antra and then the link down there, of course, for you to join while it's still open so I can do one-on-one -on -one and focusing on people down there. So you can click the link down there. Okay, so I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.